Hi, Beth. I'm Amaya Desire from Big Go Belt Media. So pleasure to meet you. How are you doing today? Hi, Amaya. Nice to meet you. I love you're so beautiful with your flowers <laughs> around. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I have to keep the aesthetics going. You know what I mean? I love it. I do. Yeah, you're doing. You're crushing it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So I have been a fan of Leverage since the beginning. Um, but it's so it's really good to see you guys with season two for Leverage Redemption. How are you feeling about this season for season two? Oh, well, thanks for being a, a, a fan and a loyal audience member. We appreciate that. <laughs> uh, it's been good. You know, I'm excited to get back. I'm excited for people to see it. Um, I, I love watching our team do what they do best, you know, being on the con on the heist and <laughs> finding all those little comedy beats, whether it's physical or with dialogue or whatever. So I'm I'm excited to to have people receive it again and see their favorite characters doing what they do best. Yeah, awesome. So of course we know you as Parker, you're goofy, you're fun. Uh, with Leverage Redemption, you have the pleasure of somewhat being more adult-like to the newcomer, which is Elise, I believe her name is. And so do you think we're going to see more of a um, nurturing kind of stern version of Parker for a season two? You know, it's interesting because Elise uh, Shannon, who plays Brianna, has really come into her own as a character of the season. And we sort of pick up with her already in this yeah. role of leadership. So it's kind of cool. We You don't have to see her struggling to fit in anymore. Like she is there, she is owning it, and she's on this great ride. And I think, you know, the season's focused on Sophie's backstory and all the different dynamics that she's been kind of uh, having to juggle with and secrets and all these things. So, you know, you do see Parker in some ways being more of a support to those storylines this season, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you know, we're aware that she's running crews internationally and that her and Hardison are still very much together and doing great. Right. And, uh, you know, there's a really fun episode that I got to do with Aldis where we're on a date and fans will finally get to see Parker and Hardison on a date and okay. what happens. Yeah. So that was really a lot of fun. That uh, Okay. Well, that go, that was going into my next question about like, what was your favorite episode to shoot for this season? So that's awesome. Cause we do know we didn't see much of all this last season. So to see him coming back, is obviously going to be great. What, what do you like most about your character Parker? I love that she's not one thing, you know, I love how dimensional she is. I love that she gets to be an adrenaline junkie who's fiercely loyal to defending people who need help. And mm -hmm. she's largely bases everything off her instinct. Um, I think if she ever normalized or started to think too much about her actions beforehand, it would dull her down and make, make it not as fun. And so right. I'm always fighting to have those eccentricities there and also you know with a grounded thing because that's the thing she has a big heart and all of it comes from her her fierceness to to protect to love to fight to steal to whatever it is she does right. it 100 percent. and so Absolutely. that's the thing i love that level of fearlessness and commitment to doing what you want despite what people think i think that's in in the most positive sense of that you know Okay, awesome. Is there anything um, that you do in particular to prepare for, you know, like shooting of an episode or the role with Parker? I do. Yeah. You know, it depends on um, obviously what's called for with the, the role, but uh, it's important for me to watch the old episodes again. I know mm -hmm. some people can't watch themselves and I, it's not like I sit and watch it for, for whatever. I, I like to study and remember because there's so many episodes that contain right bits and pieces of her backstory and that I always inform my choices with that history. And those are the facts, right. For her life. And once I do that homework before a season, then I let it all go. And I just exist as her and I click okay. in and I let my imagination roll. And, you know, that's really my process. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, last question for you is a fun one. When you're not watching uh, old episodes of yourself, what are you watching? <laughs> that sounds terrible. I just didn't watch myself all day. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I only do it to study. I swear to God. Um, no, I'm watching, um, Ooh, you know, the great British bake off is kind of a guilty pleasure of mine, but oh. I, I just finished house of dragons. Yeah. And I really loved it. I got really into that one. So that's, that's one I, I, I just dove into. 
Okay, awesome. Well, it was a pleasure again speaking with you. Congratulations on season two. I can't wait to see the rest of it. I've only seen a few episodes, but I'm always ready for leverage fun and to see what the new con is. So congrats on season two. Thanks, Amaya. Take care. You too. (laughs) See you. Bye.